Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today's the day. Uh, Cole Bernard tried to tried to Hoover on me. Um, she had it under the guise that we should talk. That that um, you know, and I said, is it about the children? And she said, yeah, well, it's about the children. It's about you and me. And I've done so much thinking and stuff. So I texted back. I said, that sounds to me like this is a conversation that you want to have about our relationship. And we don't have a relationship. We co-parent. And she texted back. Yeah, but, you know, I just want to talk. Blah, 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 blah. This, that, and the other. I said, if it's not directly about the children, there's nothing to talk about. You don't seem to understand this. And then she started, you know, guilt tripping and doing all this shit, like her her same old tactics, you know, they only have a few of them and they're their go-tos. And, you know, her defense mechanism started coming up because she was getting shut down. And I gotta be honest in saying, the more that I could tell that she was getting frustrated, she was getting shut down, the more I wanted to. And she kept it going. And I texted back, you know, I mean, it, it was, it, it was conversation. It wasn't like it was one sided. Oh, excuse me. But she was saying, you know, oh, you only care about Kevin and this, that, and the other, right? So I said, let me put this in a context that even a malignant, covert narcissist would understand. I said, when you put a piece of trash into the trash can and you put that trash can out to the curb to be dumped, the trash man comes along and he just dumps the trash. He doesn't determine whether what you put in the trash can is trash or not. He doesn't care about that. He just takes your word for it, that it's trash, and he throws it away. He then takes the trash to the landfill, never to be seen again. You can't just go to that landfill and play with that trash whenever you feel like it. You already threw it out. It's now trash. Now, you might be able to go to that landfill and play with that trash once or twice and it'll be there. But every time you go to that landfill to play with that trash and you throw that trash back into the landfill, you can't expect the next time you go to the landfill that the trash will just be there. I said, this piece of trash, this is the next time and this piece of trash is not there to be played with. You threw this piece of trash away. That was your choice. Now you have to understand that this piece of trash is no longer at the landfill to be played with whenever you want. And I never got, and I didn't get a reply back. And that was like an hour ago. And I'm glad I didn't actually. I didn't try to contact her. Like, do you get what I'm talking about? Like before I would have like, you know, Oh, it's such a great analogy that I need, you know, I need confirmation that you understand what I'm saying. I don't care if she understands what I'm saying. I understand what I'm saying, and that's all that matters. She, her, it, it made me realize, like, her fucking opinion does not matter. And that's what I based my entire reality on. My entire existence was based on her opinion. It's fucking disgusting. See, I think that's, that's, um, I hate that it happened, but I'm almost glad that it happened because it's the fear of the unknown for me. I hate, I'm not a, I don't hate, I'm not a big fan of the unknown. But I just need to learn to embrace it, be excited about it, and, and whatever will come, will come. It doesn't matter, you know? But anything is better than dealing with her.
I mean, I, I thought about this when she was, when her and I were texting about an hour ago. The turmoil that I've gone through in the last month, I guarantee she hasn't even batted an eye at any of this. She doesn't even fucking care. And I have literally gone through absolute hell. And she doesn't even fucking care. I guarantee she doesn't care. She doesn't care. I mean, fuck, she doesn't care. It's not, it's not even like a question. And that's insane to think that somebody like, that you invested so much of your time, energy, resources, um, literally gave your fucking all to, gave everything to. Doesn't even care. In fact, is probably upset that you have anything left. Like, wait a second, I see like 10% of life there. Let me go ahead and grab that 10% real quick before somebody else gets it. Like, man, fuck you. You know, fuck you, motherfucker. Like, oh my God, man. Like, and you know what's so weird is the text messages that I got. I can't even believe I fell for that shit before. I cannot even believe I, I, fell, I used to fall for that. But I did. Hook, line, and fucking sinker every fucking time. Oh my god, she's fucking breadcrumbing me. Oh my god, you know. Like, it was almost like I lived for the Hoover. I existed only for the Hoover. I dealt with so much, um, so much drama just for that Hoover. Well, fuck your fucking, like, fuck you. Fuck your breadcrumbs. Like, fucking go put that shit on somebody else, man. Fuck you. You know? Anyways. Um, I hope everybody has a beautiful Saturday. Um, it's a great day. You know what I mean? It's a fucking great day. I feel ready to tackle something today. I don't know. Maybe I already tackled everything I needed to tackle for the day. Huh. I don't know. But anyways, everybody have a great day. Um, and I'll tell you what, real, real quick. Um, the comments uh, from the video last night um, helped me get out of my slump. Because I think if I was in that same slump, that confusion that I had yesterday, I think her Hoover might have worked. I don't know. I can't. You know, you can never determine, like, this is the path that it took. So I can't determine how much of it is me and how much of it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. There's never a way to tell what the other side was or is or would have been all I know is this is the path that I'm on right now which is a beautiful thing I appreciate it and um, it makes me wonder if a narcissist knows like timing like do they fucking watch you that close that they know timing like how long it's gonna take you before they need to hoover like do they know that shit I don't know, it's fucking insane, like, like, I guess, um, I gave her too much credit for being a decent person, and I drastically underestimated what a global narcissist, or a narcissist in general, is capable of doing, it's just insane, but anyways, everybody have a beautiful day, beautiful Saturday, go out and enjoy the day, um, they don't deserve us to be fucking moping around about any of their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.